Yo, what is poppin' everybody? Jabari98 here, and today we have yet another developer's discussion for Genshin Impact that we have to talk about. And dude, honestly dude, the title says it all. Do I even need to say anything? <laughs> Let's just get into it, bro, because dude, there's probably been tons of other people talking about this by the time I upload this video, and for good reason, because, oh my god, dude. Uh, let's get into it, let's get into it. Right into the artifacts section of the developers discussion. We've been following all kinds of feedback from travelers about artifacts as one of our most, as, as one of the most important game development experiences. Developers will continue to carry out optimizations and future versions. After version 4.0, travelers will be able to experience the following content. The artifact inventory limit will be increased to 1,800, so we can farm for an extra 300 artifacts. Cool. But the big one, the big one, okay? Honestly, you can stop watching the video here if this is all you wanted to see. Eight, eight more artifact strong boxes are being added in version 4.0. Yes, there are seven other artifact strong boxes, but there is one that matters above all else. Emblem of Severed Fate, baby. Let's go. I have been farming this domain forever. And do you know why everyone's been farming this domain forever? Because I'm not the only one that's been farming this domain ever since it came out. Do you know why everyone's been farming this domain ever since it came out? Because Emblem of Severed Fate is literally one of the best artifacts in the game. Two-piece effect gives you a flat energy recharge bonus of 20%. And the four piece effect gives you elemental damage bonus on your elemental burst based on how much energy recharge you have. It's a very synergistic set and it provides the resources that you want on, on most of your characters. A ton of characters actually love using this artifact set that it would be so many characters actually love this artifact set that it would be more time efficient to list the characters that don't want it for whatever reason. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to say that in addition to the Emblem of Severed Fate artifact set, there's also Tenacity of the Millilith set, Peril Flame for Eula, Shimonara's Reminiscence, uh, Husk of Opulent Dreams for the vast majority of Geo characters. I know my Noel and Goro is going to absolutely love being able to finally farm this set. Uh, Ocean Hued Clam for all the healer characters like Kokomi and Barbara, Vermilion Hereafter, and echoes of an offering so a lot of good artifact sets to that are going to be strong boxed but the biggest one being emblem of severed fate thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i it's going to make farming better artifacts for this artifact set so much more efficient when version 4.0 finally hits dude thank you so much but there is more the destruction function of artifacts in your inventory will be optimized where you can add four star artifacts at once now hopefully they add a function to where you can choose what type of set can be destroyed because there are some some four star artifact sets that are actually like really good to have in a pinch like the exile set for energy regeneration because that's the set that I run on my Goro, actually. But here's some interesting news right here. More optimizations for, for artifacts are currently in the plans. Here, we would like to share some thoughts with you. Locking of artifacts, right? The dev team has been looking for ways to reduce the cost of man managing artifacts and improve your experience. We will optimize the locking function in the future allowing travelers to lock artifacts that they want more easily and this on top of the second section equipping of artifacts regarding the current cumbersome process of equipping artifacts we are currently discussing a new plan to help travelers select and equip artifacts as quickly as possible we are in the midst of discussing specific plans for the above optimizations once the details are confirmed we will reveal them in detail in subsequent developer discussions these two optimizations that are in the works alongside of each other being listed in this the exact same developer discussion really gives me the the uh the hope a very strong hope that this means that we're getting artifact set loadouts for for specific characters if that's the case i would be so happy dude whenever i want to run either mono cryo kaya or melt kaya or just a wide variety of sets for like different characters like managing artifacts and 
and constantly having to like swap them in and out in between characters is it's such a, a nuisance after a while that any any form of simplification of that issue it, it, it it's a win in my book this next section new content preview next we'll share some new content in version 4.0 with you let's take a look new battle pass weapons there are now 10 types of weapons that can be selected from the bp bounty after unlocking the gnostic hymn and reaching level 30 you can select one of the weapons as a reward we will introduce the details of the new weapons via official information in the future 10 types of weapons at level 30 of the battle pass now so in addition to the original five this is this is my guess in addition to the original five there will now be a additional five of battle pass weapons that you can choose with that um with the bp bounty that you get at level 30. so i'm curious to know what those weapons will be what their passives are how they function and stuff like that hopefully hopefully they're not too niche so that they can be used for a wide variety of characters here's my hoping here's my hopes for that you guys know i love uh genius invocation tcg even though it's it's uh it's been a while since i've made any like videos on it genius invocation tcg there's new functionality being added where you can observe duels with people on your friends list so this is awesome because I'll, I'll actually be able to watch my friends live as like their battles are going on so that's cool you can also select whether you allow people to view the duel through your settings so that's good for people who value their their uh, privacy so that's nice and now the new chapter of adventure for fontaine so long story short throughout this whole section so after the version 4.0 update if you've completed the archon quest in mondstadt which is like one of the first archon quests you do in this game a teleport waypoint in Sumeru's realm of far of far uh, i'm not going to pronounce that will unlock automatically you'll be able to use this to quickly arrive near fontaine so now uh, newer players will be able to go straight to Fontaine uh, as soon as possible and the multi-layered map function will be available after the 4.0 update so you'll be able to better explore areas like the Sumeru Desert for example which is going to be awesome because I feel like this multi-layered map function is going to be very essential for Fontaine due to the different layers that I imagine the region has and with thoughts of on the future the release of the new version travelers will get to explore tons of new content the dev team has also noticed that the current daily commission mechanics are not flexible enough what we'd like to share here is that the relevant optimizations are currently in the pipeline when the time comes travelers will be able to obtain daily rewards in a new format we will introduce the details to you in future discussions. Dude, this section right here makes me feel like the daily commission system is going to be reformed. It's going to be reworked into something more similar to Honkai Star Rail, where you have like a wide variety of options in terms of like what you do as your daily commission. You can complete like combat objectives, like maybe trigger X amount of overloads and superconducts or open X amount of chests or gain X amount of stars and spiral abyss or collect X amount of materials. Like I feel like at this extra like amount of diversity and what players can do on a day-to-day -day basis to to finish their dailies would be very awesome because that's one of the things I like about Honkai Star Rail's uh, daily commission system the most. Just a lot of general quality of life improvements in Honkai Star Rail that I'd wish were eventually added to. But yeah, that is the gist of this developers discussion if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe for more and i will see you guys on the next one peace